In this video, I will sh show how to simulate the motion of this rocker form and this spring pin using LogPress 3 Die Debugger. First, I'll select the last sequence in the list and then select Add a New Animation Sequence. Next, it's asking me to select what components I want to simulate the motion of. First, I'll start with this rocker form punch. Then I'll select the motion type. And I am going to use contact rotation. With this motion type, the first thing that we would select is the contact entity that would give the motion. I'll put focus in that box. And that will be this edge of the driver block. Next in the list is contact entity that will receive the motion. I'll put focus in that box and I'll select this radius. And that radius is on the on the rocker form. The third box is the select the rotation axis. I'll put focus in there. And that's going to be the edge of this pin. But as you can see, since I am working within a section view, I cannot select that edge. So I'm just going to change my display style to either hidden lines visible or wireframe. I'll use hidden lines visible and now I can select that edge. And I will change the display style back to shade with edges. Now I have my selections made. Uh, one other thing I have to enter is this the angle delta, and that's the uh, rotation angle of the press that this motion will occur. I'm going to highlight it and type in 360 degrees of the press angle. And now I'm going to select start the simulation. And you can see it's rotating back. But you can see the contact is reversed. It's on the wrong side of this driving edge. So I'll select stop and select this button, reverse the contact. Now when I select play, you can see the contact's on the correct side of the driving edge. But you can see up here that it's rotating way too far. I need to limit that rotation angle. There's only a three degree angle ground on to here. So I will select stop and I want to limit that using this right here, restrict the amplitude in the reverse direction because it's moving away in this direction. So I'll select that and type in three degrees and I'll select play again. And now you can see the angle is limited by three, by three degrees. I'll select stop. And the next motion I want to add is for the spring pin. So I'm going to select, I'll scroll up to here and select the last sequence in the list and select add a sequence again. What do I want to move? I want this pin to move. I select it. I select my motion type. This time I will use contact translation. I'll put focus in this box again, the contact entity that gives the motion. And that's going to be this edge right here on the rocker form. But as you can see, again, I cannot select it because of the section view that I'm in. So I'll change my display style to hidden lines visible. And now I can select that edge. Next is contact any that receives the motion. I'll put focus on that box and that's going to be the end of the pin. And the motion direction box right here, this is optional since it is in the vertical direction, the motion. Uh, I do not have to select anything. So I'm going to change this back to shade with edges. 
And again, I am going to have to put focus here and enter in the how many degrees of the press cycle that, that this motion is going to occur. That's 360 degrees. And now if I select play, you'll see that the pin is moving down as the rocker form rotates and back up again. And now we have our motion for both the pin and the rocker form. And that's how we add those uh, motion simulations within DiDebugger.